Thai, the House of Authentic Ingredients is temporarily closed. I want to give a confidence to our customer that, you know, we do everything we can and we hope that, you know, they give us a chance to prove ourselves and then come back to dine with us with confidence. And Deva Huston is a co-owner of the East Sacramento-based Thai restaurant. She says they're doing everything they can to combat cockroaches discovered during a health inspection. I want to say, you know, that my sister apology. KCRA 3 obtained documents from the Sacramento County Environmental Management Department. Those records show inspectors found the infestation September 13th, noting the vermin in multiple parts of the restaurant. That report prompted an immediate closure. And that is the primary reason that that restaurant was closed. We only close about 1% um, of all of the restaurants that we inspect, and we do about 14,000 inspections a year, so um, we have a, a pretty high pass rate. Inspectors checked the restaurant. Documents show in April with no signs of the bugs. Paperwork also notes inspectors have been back five times since the initial inspection, but that cockroaches were still being found Wednesday. In any situation when we find vermin in the food prep area, that's pretty much an automatic closure at that point. The Environmental Management Department does work with uh, restaurants to get them into compliance. Unfortunately, until those restaurants um, do fall into compliance, they um, they won't be able to reopen. Dave Huston says they're deep cleaning, replacing and reorganizing items and have brought in pest control, hoping their customers will stick with them as they move forward. We try to do everything, you know, as far as we can to make sure that we stop. We now very confident on, you know, um, reopening. It's just a matter of time to make sure that everything is under control. In Sacramento, Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. The spokesperson we heard from tells us they work with companies out of compliance with health codes to get them back into compliance. He also says there is an element of education and outreach to keep these types of closures from happening, but that the focus must be on public health.